हेलो एवरी ओन कैसे हो सब सो आई वॉन्ट टू एड्रेस अ वेरी कॉमन इशू इन टू डेज वीडियो एंड दैट इज पीपल आर ट्राइंग वेरी हार्ड टू रिमेंबर डिफरेंट थिंग्स ऑफ अ लैंग्वेज और स्टैक और सिंटेक्स इन जनरल दे आर ट्राइंग हार्ड बाई टेकिंग नोट्स यू नो बाई रिमेंबरिंग थिंग्स बाई यू नो हाउ टू यूज सब डिफरेंट फंक्शंस और वट्स एवर लाइक रिमेंबरिंग फंक्शंस नेम्स ऑल्सो राइट so don't worry i am not here to uh, tell you or promote any course that i can teach you how to remember the thing is i don't want you to remember these syntax and syntactical sugar things right so i will address this issue in different parts and we'll talk about uh, problem solving we'll talk about first principle thinking and uh, we'll talk about what exactly matters when it comes to programming so let's take it step by step so first thing let's talk about uh, problem solving in general and first principle thinking so there is one thing common in mathematics and computer science and that is you don't have to remember everything you don't have to remember 100% of the formulas uh, steps right so the thing is if i remember only a few building blocks only some dots i can connect the dots and build a mesh out of it so that's exact the analogy that we have to use here so i am saying is i think the 100th time that the stack the language doesn't matter so there is one thing common thing that is missing and people are not focusing on problem solving yeah you can start development you can start dsa whatsoever it doesn't matter but the thing is you have to do dsa so people can argue that uh, bro even ai is there right chat gpt can do most of the stuff why you are uh, telling us to do dsa see dsa is a building block that you will open your mind okay you will see uh, computer science problems in different perspective right after solving few questions in dsa you will be able to think how to break a problem into small small problems and that takes us to next part of the video which is first principle thinking so just throwing few words on you i'll not do that let me take an example so first principle thinking definition is basically you have a problem you want to solve a problem and rather than you know worrying about the problem you want to break the problem in sub problems and then you want to deal uh, one by one right you want to deal with those sub problems one by one and then you will connect those problems build a uh, solution of the main problem out of it so that's first first principle thinking and that is the you know common uh way of solving problems in ai blockchain whatsoever you can think right so problem solving first dsa do dsa right there is no going back you have to start dsa because it will open your mind okay it will give you a different perspective of solving problems of solving computer science problems i should say right now the second thing is uh first principle thinking and that also is used in dsa also like when you will solve some dp problems right dynamic programming problems in those problems you will have to use some array concept and on top of it you have to use some memoization and on top of it maybe you have to use uh, some graphs right so different different components you will uh, connect and your problem solution will be there right so that is the thing so let's take an example of first principle thinking so let's suppose i want to build a uh you know uh, usb driver right or i can say e-commerce platform any example you take right so this is a bigger problem e-commerce platform is a very big problem right that i want to build for, as a side project right so now the thing is i will break my e-commerce platform in different uh, parts so the first part is what requirements my e-commerce platform should have in my v0 right so let's say my e-commerce website should have user sign up user login now the second thing is my e-commerce platform should have capability to uh, to admin to add some you know stock of different things or to onboard some different uh, stuff on the platform so that is the second thing from admin perspective and the third thing is user should be able to log in buy add into the cart check out so see check out is a one component that is a payment system second thing is your cart is one component where you have to manage like plus minus of the items adding different items removing them adding the address delivery address that is the cart problem third thing is user sign up sign in problem fourth thing is uh, from the admin perspective they have to sign up sign in and they can, should be able to add some items on your e-commerce platform now after dividing your you know bigger e-commerce platform in different components 
you have to pick one component and solve that component end to end that is what you know you will pick one dot you will solve that dot then you will connect that dot to some other dot right so my first dot is let's suppose checkout my second dot is cart so my cart is incomplete without checkout what i will do after adding any object in my you know uh, cart it has to you know it has to have some onboarding flow uh, some checkout flow where i can buy i can complete the order right so that is how always try to break your problems in sub problems and only focus on sub problem solve sub problem and then solve other sub problem connect them so now the third thing is after problem solving and you know uh, first principle thinking third thing is cs fundamentals now why i stress you know in every video you will uh, hear me saying that cs fundamentals cs fundamentals way more important than uh, syntactical sugar or frameworks yes they are way more important than anything even if llms are there even if blockchain is there just go with cs fundamentals and dsa blindly why because every computer science uh, field be it ai blockchain whatever it is built on top of cs fundamentals and problem solving that's why i stress too much on these topics because i know that if you want to target a long term journey these things matter note your console.log right these things doesn't matter right so that is the thing so cs fundamentals i've already talked about it a lot okay i'll not take too much time the only thing that i wanted to address was that don't take notes don't worry about uh, remembering things okay make sure you are doing dsa make sure you are sticking with one language so that with time after 3 4 months you don't even have to remember anything right the functions automatically will click in your mind and you are good to go right so yeah that is a the thing then cs fundamentals even if you are a back end engineer front end engineer it will come some day okay the sooner you start dsa and cs fundamentals the sooner it gets you know uh, smooth your journey will become smooth so that was the one thing that i was getting on twitter a lot that uh, bhai i want to start development and i'm not able to remember things and uh, syntax is very hard of golang or uh, uh, java or c++ the thing is you are not sticking with one language for long enough time okay so that's it for today right the people who are new to our channel you can subscribe and uh, people who don't know we started our think it club community which is a live community of some few selected people who uh, will join live sessions doubt session where we will build projects and uh, uh, we'll take end to end 1.5 years long journey and uh, where we'll take uh, java live session doubt session lld hld and uh, ai and the projects which are not copy pasted right you will make projects you will read research paper and then implement research papers and lot of stuff so see you soon in your first session on 30th april and uh, there is one more course that i promised already c++ with projects that will come for sure don't worry and uh, uh, the course is the projects will come as usual at it as it was uh, you know used to come on our youtube channel so yeah stay tuned for those projects also and uh, keep showing keep uh, showing up keep your support like this and milte bye bye